Some in the cannabis industry are considering using pot testing labs for COVID-19. But 10 News investigative reporter Jennifer Kastner interviewed a local cannabis testing lab director who thinks that's a bad idea. This Tuesday, we spoke to the co-founder of Infinite Cal, which is located in Miramar. There are dozens of scientists do cannabis testing and analysis. Why do you find this to be dangerous? Uh, so we're not clinical labs, so every lab is going to be set up differently. Josh Sweeter of San Diego's Infinite Cal Cannabis Testing Lab is opposed to using cannabis testing labs to do coronavirus testing, an idea being considered now by some within the cannabis industry. If you don't have all the, the skills and the training in place, there could just be one laboratory uh, tech that is not following it and contaminate the whole lab and then all your customers walking into your building. He says cannabis labs are proficient in chemistry analysis, not biologics with infectious materials. So the risk for employees and customers is too high. The second major thing I can see potentially hazardous is if something some uh, protocols and followed while doing analysis, you start creating false negatives. But not all labs are shying away. We're open to the possibility. So. David Winterheimer runs Pacific Star Labs, a cannabis testing facility in Los Angeles. I think, you know, like everyone, uh, we want to help out in this crisis. He believes that with proper accreditation and safety training on handling samples, COVID-19 testing could be on the horizon. Big leap for a lab that's spent a lot of uh, resources and time getting set up to do one thing and kind of repurposing part of the lab uh, to do the other. So not that it's not possible, but there's certainly some challenges in doing so. Both experts say they are unaware of any labs that are currently doing COVID-19 testing. Right now, it's only in discussions. Jennifer Kastner, 10 News.